Happy Thumbs Gaming. Week show. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Free Play Level 17, The Black Gate for Lego Lord of the Rings. All right, we got our work cut out for us. We were only able to find one of the mini kits in the first round. Ooh, we will grab our guys and get to work. So as always, we uh, recommend that you've completed the whole story. And in fact, you're getting pretty close to the point where you won't be able to have not done much uh, to get to this point. But uh, basically, we also recommend you have somebody to pull orange handles with, whether it be the calcium armor, whether it be the mithril boxing gloves, Urukai, Berserker, Sagrat. I mean, there's a whole bunch of guys that can do it for you now. And it's you're at this point, you've probably got most, if not all of those. So, And on top of that, we're going to go ahead and suggest that you have Berserker or the Mithril Fireworks to destroy any of these shiny Mithril objects. So, uh, In this first cutscene here, or opening scene, I should say, it's not really a cutscene, it's a, it's a battle scene. And when we're taking out this first troll, there is an item in the back that you can do, but I highly recommend waiting until you take out the... Uh, the Nazgul and the Black Rider here too. So uh, essentially, we've got it sped up. Once you access the troll on the left before leaving the in, or the original battle area, pull out the bow or you know with Legolas or whichever character you prefer. And there are five archers that have been shooting at you this whole time off in the distance. Now you have to target them and shoot it, and it takes two or three seconds before that arrow actually gets there. And keep in mind that this is sped up, so it does seem a little bit faster. But, uh, and then we'll take out all five of those and we'll earn the first mini kit. That is actually the only mini kit we earned in our first run. So, uh, we are on par now for mini kits. We've got two of two. And, uh, so this will be a nice, easy, collectible video for you guys. There'll be no confusion and it'll take us right to where you need. Now, once we climb up top, one thing I recommend is grab one of your little guys and jump on him and smash this troll in the head until he can't move anymore, but drive him away. You can kind of steer the troll, so steer him towards the front left side like you saw me do, and then head to the back with Sam. Use your shovel to dig up the key, which then we will use here in a second on this treasure chest. While waiting for that tower to fall down, go ahead and sneak behind that rock there out of sight and grab the uh, blacksmith design for this level. And then use your key on the chest, and it will yield you a treasure. Then you're going to want to switch to uh, your powerhouse. We selected Urukai, and we went ahead and pulled that open with that troll right in our face. And there we go. So we got another mini kit. We're off to a great start. Now, uh, truth be told, I actually played this level through uh, on free play, recorded it, and got to this section right here and was not able to uh, activate the action sequence. So right here, when you hit circle um, and you actually attack him or whatnot, it would not do it. It just kept glitching out. It kept going, huh? Huh? But, uh, so I had to start it all over and do it again, so uh, that was nice. Once you complete that troll and you move over to the far left side over here to the second troll area on the left, you're going to want to grab Berserker or your Mithril Fireworks. Sorry, Mithril Fireworks. Bad habits are hard to break. And uh, you'll go ahead and blast all those Mithril objects in the corner. Not only will it give you a ton of studs, but it'll also open up a secret pathway. Now, in this pathway, there's quite a lot to do back here. Right off the bat, you can see there's uh, some stuff to smash. So we smash it up, and it reveals a crank. We'll get back to that crank in a minute. So because we're the stud whores that we are, we're going to smash everything in sight here. If you look over there too, you can see our multiplier flash, and we've got the 3,840 multiplier representing we have all five red brick multipliers on. We do have a video up for that. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly suggest uh, searching red brick multiplier locations, HTG. Now while I'm saying this, as you saw, I dug up a carrot for that rabbit, and the rabbit then dug up a mini kit for us. How sweet. It's a nice rabbit. And then I go over and smack him in the face and ruin his home. <laughs> uh, and then we'll use our powerhouse again, and in our case, Berserker, to go ahead and pull that orange handle, which will then reveal another treasure. So now we've got two of the three treasures, and it's also going to reveal some spiders and some other stuff to smash. So we'll, we'll do all we can to take out as many things as we can. And I uh, tried to target these spiders, but I couldn't. And I'm not sure what happened there. I, I died kind of weirdly. It looks as though I shot an arrow and killed myself. Rewind it and look. That's totally what happened, but I'm not sure how that's possible. So anyways, uh, you use Legolas or an arrow wielder to shoot the target up high back there. Drops the mini kit. Switch to Aragorn and use his awesome sword to destroy the Morgul bricks. And then you can see a pig in the corner. We'll go ahead and go straight farm style. Do the old pig ride. 
you haven't ever rode a pig like this, uh, first of all, get a hold of BHU and ask BHU what it's like because he used to he used to work on a pig farm. And uh, second of all, you should do it. I highly recommend you uh, involve yourself in a pig race sooner than later. You will get a mini kit if you complete the pig race going through all those gates. And then at the end, we come back to this handle over here. And we'll crank that handle, which will reveal yet another mini kit. Now, after you return from the secret cavern, you'll run out front. And we'll switch to Sam because Sam's elven rope will then allow us to climb up high and get mini kit number nine. And then right below that, there is a spot for Sam to dig, which will then dig up our third treasure. So we got the blacksmith locked. We got the treasures locked. We just need one more mini kit. Any guesses where it might be? Oh, I see a Gimli rock up there. I see a Gimli rock. So we will go ahead and switch to Gimli up here because, of course, there is a crack to be smacked. Smack a crack. Booyakasha! And look at that. Tenth mini kit. So that's actually going to wrap up all the collectibles for this. We will go ahead and finish out the level as always. Uh, realistically, it's just a shortcut scene and then the total. So... Yeah, buddy. Look at that. I wish I had some hawks to come in and put work in like that. I'd call them in on all my uh, neighbor kids. Get out of here. Now watch this. Uh, having the multiplier on and getting all the mini kits is stupendous for your overall totals. Now, not sure why it doesn't go up that big there. I got nine of the ten mini kits and uh, should have gotten a lot for completing it. However, in the end, uh, once you get all of the mini kits, as you'll see in our level 18 video, uh, I get super paid with that multiplier on. I mean, super. I go from like 2 billion to like 7 billion. I'm not even lying. But there's the proof in the pudding. We got uh, 10 of 10 mini kits. We got that green check mark representing that blacksmith design in our bag. And we also got three of three treasures. And we did most of that in this run through. So. Look at that. We knocked it out. And in about seven minutes, we got all that accomplished. That is amazing. That's going to go ahead and wrap up a Lego Lord of the Rings level 17, the Black Gate free play. Now, I know you guys have been patient waiting for all these. I appreciate that greatly. Uh, you've also been giving us great feedback. A couple errors we've had and a couple uh, pieces of advice, too. So, hey, it's not uh, always that the uh, teacher gets taught by the students, but we love it. Teach us. Feel free to comment, vote, subscribe as always, and uh, head on over to Facebook and Twitter to keep up on what's crack-a-lacking. And as always, until next time, slow up!